Hello. In this video, we are going to learn a little bit about the infinite ground plane as well as some very, very basic sun settings. Okay. Uh, we'll probably just cover the infinite ground plane in this version, and then in the next one, we'll cover the sun settings. All right. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and open up Cabin Sun Study and let's get started. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over into my perspective view. Okay. And as you can see, We've got a little campground here. We've got three little structures on this tiny compound. We've got a larger one and we've got two smaller ones. Okay. We also have the ambient light coming in at this particular angle. So you can see some shadows under the eaves here and then shadows coming. The, the ambient light source is at this point behind us. And as you can see, as I rotate this thing around, the ambient light source is always behind us. Okay. So, and we're going to cover that uh, in the next lesson. All right. But you can also notice that here in the rendered view, there's no real shadows on the ground. Or actually, there are, but there's no real ground plane. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if your model looks like this in the standard view, I'm going to go up here, click on this tab that says Render Tools. Okay. And then all of these little icons here will certainly be discussed in depth in this course. But the first thing I want to do is just add a ground plane and allow my objects. And it doesn't matter if these are buildings or bicycles or razors or whatever it is that you're making in Rhino. Everything should probably be sitting on the ground. Okay. We'll cover more advanced topography later in this course as well as in other courses. All right. But the first thing I want to do is go up to this little thing. It looks, you can see there's a very small hand icon as well as something that looks like a tennis court. Right underneath where it says mesh tools. We're in the render tools tab but it's under the tools in mesh tools. If I click on toggle the ground plane panel, I will get this little guy that shows up. Okay. And as you can see, it's actually already on. If I uncheck this, you can see now what's happening is there are no shadows. Okay. So that's what was going on there. I'm going to go ahead and click on show the ground plane. All right. And now, you also notice that, well, we don't have much going on. If I were to create a rendering by clicking the render button, you can see basically I have pretty much no depth. I have very hard shadows, a couple of objects, um, no horizon line. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click here where it says use a material. And when I do that, I'm going to get this little menu that's going to pop up. All right. The default material usually is going to say, um, any number of things, but it'll usually say default material. It'll look like that. All right. Default material is going to be gray. All right. Plaster. Um, it is possible to change it, but generally what I'll do is this. I'll click on the little triangle next to where it says default material or whatever the material is. And I will click on the little plus and I will make that custom. Okay. And then from there, all I'm going to do, and all I want right now is just a simple ground plane. I'm not worried about a realistic texture. I just want something that might abstract or approximate what I have. So I'm going to click on this little white uh, rectangle here, and it popped up off your screen. But you get a color picker, all right? And all I want to do is just change this ground plane from white to something that looks green, right? So you notice I've picked a green over here, but my, there's a little circle in the upper right-hand corner. I need to move that circle over and you'll notice that as I move it up and down, this becomes more or less green. All right. I want to get something that might begin to approximate what I have. So I'm going to select that little green right there and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and close this, make a nice composition, nice ish composition, and I'm going to go ahead and hit render. And now, as you can see, we actually have a ground plane and the shadows are on the ground and it's green. So it looks a little bit more like what we would expect it to look like. OK, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right here. And in the next video, we're going to cover the sun and sky settings. OK, thanks very much.